This is a quick tutorial about hypothesis testing on your TI-83 and TI-84 calculator. For a more complete discussion, click on the YouTube link that describes this video. The link is to the right of this video in the text box that describes the video. Hypothesis testing is a procedure that uses a sample to test the true value of an entire population. Suppose we want to test the statement that registered YouTube members spend an average of 150 minutes per week watching videos. Since someone is stating that the true value for all members is 150 minutes, the parameter is mu equals 150. You believe the true amount of time is less than 150 minutes, so you conduct a study by randomly sampling 30 users. Your sample shows that the average time spent watching videos for these 30 people is just 147.8 minutes per week. So the sample statistic is x bar, which is 147.8 minutes. Your sample size was 30, so n equals 30, and the standard deviation of your sample data is s equals 5 minutes. Since you believe the real value for all members is less than 150 minutes and you want to provide evidence to show that it's less than 150 minutes, your hypothesis will look like this. I've shown two different setups here because different textbooks have different ways of presenting this topic. However, the only really important part is the alternative hypothesis. So always keep that in mind. The alternative hypothesis is the only important part here. To enter this data into your calculator, press STAT and then go to Tests and then press Enter. Your screen should now look like this. Now select Z-Test since this is a one-sided hypothesis test. It's one-sided because you want to show that the real value is less than 150 minutes. So since it's less, it's on the left side. Now select stats because you will manually enter the data. Now enter the rest of the data as shown. Pause this video if you need to. Now press calculate. You should get this result right here. Now here's the English interpretation of our results. If it's really true that the true population value is 150 minutes, then the probability we would get a sample as extreme as 147.8 minutes or less is only about 0.8 percent. Therefore, it's highly unlikely that the average time spent watching YouTube videos is 150 minutes. It's really more likely that it's less than 150 minutes. For much more detailed information about hypothesis testing and all of the other mathematical and statistical functions on your calculator, click on the link to the right of this video in the About This Video text box.